Hi guys, Wacker here. So, um, somebody pointed out I'd forgotten to do my volumetric lighting, so uh, let's go over it. I'd left a uh, prefab light here, but as you can see, uh, it's just shining down. There's not a great deal. You can't really tell the volumetric's working, and oh, I've got some moss flying around it. But it's not enough. It's not working. We need to make that volumetric. Well, first, let's have a look at the light itself. So, when you make a light, uh, especially volumetric lights or any light really you need to consider how you want that light to show so there's a couple of things you should you ought to really do so this is like a tin hat light isn't it really so if I enter this prefab you can see that I'm using two lights the first light all that is doing is giving me a brightness around filling the tin that's it the second light is a bit more key uh, it gives you the volumetric sort of um, downwards look so it fills out from the right angle so you can see that I've made the angles like this uh, you could increase the inner and outer and change change all the values look so here you got the fov outer if I get the mouse over it the superclip Z superclip X radius and stop. See, there's all sorts of things that you can actually change by holding on to these end sort of areas here. But as this light's already set up, I'm just going to quickly look at this particular light. This is the important one. We've told it to be volumetric, so there you go. It's ticked here. We could use volume cookies. It's really up to you guys what you do. You can also select your cookie parameters in here. There are various ones that you can select. Uh, I'm going to go into these cookies later on because you can do um, funky stuff with them, but not right now. However, we can see when we come back to the map that we're just not seeing any sort of nice volume lighting going on. That's because what you need to do, you need to press B for Bravo and put a lit fog into it. So when you drag it in, it'll be a little scare. So you can drag it around your map. Now I've already prepared one, so if I just click on this one here, and as soon as I drag it over, now we can start seeing a bit of the volumetrics going on now it's starting to look better now it has that really good feel about the map that's all there is you just got to choose the right fogs there is one thing though I haven't shown you so if I press N for November you need to choose a decent fog bank and you want to choose one of the volumetric ones now obviously I've been doing a lot of zombie maps but you could be doing whatever you're doing in your multiplayer maps as well it all works these are the ones that we have at the moment you need to choose the one that applies best to your map and look and feel choose the one that's going to work for you um, as far as I'm concerned, if you're doing a dark zombie map, then this is absolutely fine. Uh, if you're doing something else, you're probably going to have to make your own FSI um, settings through Ape. Uh, but that's another story. Uh, I've told it that it's true on all the light states. You know, obviously it's up to you which ones you use. Uh, obviously if you've got your... Um, I don't know if I went through this. If you uh, used a power switch and you copied a giant model, by default when you enter the game you're in light state 1. That's why some lights are off. When you throw the power switch, it will then cook on light state 2. Um, and that's how you choose whether you have lights on or off, depending on whether the power is being thrown. Uh, I guess you could script it by other means. But that is a volumetric light. So let's quickly have another look. Um, so we have our volume lit fog. It has a couple of FSI banks selected. Uh, if you're only using one bank, fine, just choose one. Choose it in here, click on the dots, pick your fog. Easy. Uh, you then need to look at your actual light itself. So if we go into the prefab I've got here, you just select your light and tell it to be volumetric. It is that easy. See, you can tell. On, off, on, off. Really easy. You can't go wrong with this, guys. So get making your maps, get them out there, but make sure you do them well. That's it. Test off now.